All right, turn to your Bibles to uh, Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28. So the title of my sermon is Keep the Main Thing, the Main Thing. And I took that, this title from uh, Brother Doug's Facebook post he put a couple weeks ago when the, the whole split thing coming in. And it comes from the same scripture. If you look at verse 18, it says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. So after this whole um, split that's happened, you know, this is, this is more important to us as believers and as this group of congregation we have here, right? To keep the main thing the main thing. And I think what Brother Doug was insinuating there, what his message was, is, you know, to, to never stop preaching the gospel, right? And I want to focus in on, you know, really the gospel being the main thing. And, you know, you could take it as both, you know, but, you know, um, you know, there's, there were, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at, um, we're, we're going to look at divisions in the Bible. So, um, actually, division in the Bible is biblical, right? So, um, turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, and... Um, you know, there's a there's some righteous division, okay? So in, in Luke chapter 12, you guys are turning to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 1. You know, Jesus said, Suppose ye that I have come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. So this is a righteous division, right? It's a, it's a division between believers and unbelievers, okay? And, and you know, we all know the, the uh, scripture, John 3, 18, it says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the Son of the of the only begotten Son, so again, there's that righteous division, right? And um, you know, it's either it, it's either faith alone in the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus, right? Or it's not. Okay, that's that divide. So you either have eternal security or you don't. That's that divide. You're either working your way to heaven or you're not. You know, that's that that's that division. Okay. Unfortunately, there's been some division going on that hadn't been so righteous. Okay. You know, and I think it really started out with, you know, just going looking back. If you look at back at, you know, time that has progressed to get to this point, there's just been this, this divide between the new IFB and the old IFB, right? And, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not cool to sit through these old IFB churches and hear, you know, how Jesus can come at any time, right? It's not cool. But the main thing is still the main thing, right? Yeah, yeah. There's still our brothers and sisters in Christ, and there's that division that's happening that shouldn't be happening, you know? And it's time we stand up and we say, you know what? I'm not new IFB. I'm not old IFB. I'm IFB. I'm an independent, fundamental Baptist. And, you know, we got to keep the main thing the main thing. And the Bible's done been there, done that, right? So we're going to look at these divisions. We said you guys are in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Look at verse 10. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak in the same thing, that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are in the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, Am I of Paul, and am I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ? So you see right here, Paul's called the Church of Corinth out of, his, of their nonsense, of their division, right? And uh, right away, he starts to rebuke them. If you continue there in 13, it says, Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified uh, uh, for you? Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest, uh, lest any should say that I baptized in my own name. So he's like, you know, I'm glad I didn't baptize any of you. Otherwise, you'd be saying that you were baptized in my name, right? So... He says, and I baptize also the uh, household of Stephanus, besides I know whether I baptize any other. So watch this. He goes right back into keeping the main thing the main thing. He says, for Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with words of wisdom, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effects. Okay, turn to Acts chapter 15. So you see right there in that, in that uh, scripture there where, you know, Paul starts to call out the, the church of Corinth, right? And he's saying, hey, y'all listen up, tighten up. You know, stop the division, keep the main thing the main thing, right? So you guys are turning to Acts chapter 15. We're going to look at another division that, that, that's happened in the Bible. Acts chapter 15, verse 35, okay? It says, Paul also and Barnabas continued in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord, 
with, uh, with many others also. And some days after Paul said unto Barnabas, Let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord, and see how they do. And Barnabas determined to take with them John, whose surname was Mark. But Paul thought not good to take him with him, who departed from, uh, from Pamphylia, and went not with them to do the work. And contention was so sharp between them that they, that they departed asunder one from the other. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed unto Cyprus. And Paul chose Silas and departed, being recommended by the brethren under grace of God. So I think what happened here is Barnabas wanted open breastfeeding and Paul didn't. <laughs> All right, but seriously though, like if you look, if you look, um, it says contentions were sharp, right? So I mean, does that sound familiar? Contentions were sharp, and and you know I want to point another thing out. This was all over a man, okay? So you know, and let, let's let's hit on this too. When they went their separate ways, they didn't go into the next town talking about how the other was a reprobate or not. You know, they kept the main thing, the main thing. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to stop right there, but I just want to say this. All right? I love y'all. I love our brothers that are on the other side. You know, you know the, the worldly saying is um, time heals everything, right? And, you know, maybe one day we'll get to fellowship with them again. Who knows? But I'll tell you one thing. We'll see them in heaven. We can fellowship with them then. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep on pressing. We're going to keep the main thing the main thing. So let's, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, I thank you for this opportunity to uh, preach your word. Thank you for using me. I just pray for the next guy uh, to come through, and uh, we'll just uh, ask that you fill them with your spirit as well. And uh, let's keep the main thing the main thing. In Jesus' name, amen.